hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'll be sharing with you how to draft a trending ankara pencil gown with a puff sleeve i'll be drafting directly on my fabric so as not to have a very long video so i went ahead to mark my starting line i folded my fabric into two this part here is on fold which is the center front and I folded using my hip measurement divided by four and added two inches as my allowance. So guys, the next thing I'll do is to mark out all my vertical measurements and the full length of my dress is 42 inches. I added one inch as my hemming allowance. I also marked one inch before my starting line. So for my starting line, I'm marking my chest line, which is eight inches, my bust line, 11 inches, and my waistline, 17 inches. After drawing out my lines, I'm going to back my hip line, which is 9 inches from my waistline. So guys, on my starting line, I'm going to be marking my shoulder measurement divided by 2. And I'll add half an inch to that for my sewing allowance, which is 8 inches. My shoulder measurement is 15 inches. 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 plus half of an inch my neck width is 3.5 inches and my neck depth is 8 inches I'll be using my chest line as my neck depth and I'll be making a V neck line and on my armhole line I'll be going down by 1 inch and connecting connecting that point to my neck width to make my shoulder slant and on my chest line, I'll be dividing my bust circumference by four and also mark that. And whatsoever I have left on my armhole line, I'm going to divide it by, by two, mark the midpoints, go in by half of an inch and connect the three points together using my French curve. After that, I'll be marking my nipple to nipple measurement, which is my bust pan. I'll be marking 4 inches on the waistline, 4 inches on the bust line and 4 inches on the hip line. And also using my straight ruler to connect the three points together. After that, I'll go down by 1 inch below my bust line and 2 inches above my hip line. And on my waistline, I'll mark half an inch on both sides and then connect it to the one inch below the bust line I marked earlier and two inches above the hip line. After doing all that, go ahead and divide your bust circumference by four and mark that and then you can add one in you can add 1.5 inches or two inches as your sewing allowance and on the waistline you do the same divide your waist circumference by four add your dart intake the one inch dart intake you took and then add your sewing allowance you will do the same on the hip line you will divide your hip circumference by four and add your sewing allowance so guys at the end of the dress you measure what you have on your hip line and minus two inches from that so mine is 10 inches i marked 10 inches down and connected the connected the hip line to the end of my dress
Now this is all for the drafting of the front pattern and I'll be cutting out the back armhole. I'll be cutting out the back armhole first so that I can use it and cut my back pattern. So guys, this is my back pattern. I went ahead to mark my zipper allowance, which is one and a half inches, and also made my starting line. And also note, I have two pieces for my back pattern, right sides facing right side. So you just have to place the, the front pattern on the back pattern. you place it after the zipper allowance make sure it's on that line because that line is your center back and why the folded part of your front pattern is your center front so right here i'm tracing the sides so that my back pattern will be the same as my front pattern I'm also tracing my back armhole, tracing my shoulder slope, and for the back neckline, I'm marking 1.5 inches as my neck depth, and I'll be connecting it to my neck width. I'm making a round neckline for my back pattern, and a V neckline for my front pattern, as you can clearly see. I'm cutting out the shoulder line, cutting out the armhole and then the sides. Now for the front armhole, I'll be separating the back pattern from the front pattern and cutting out my front armhole. So guys, after choosing and cutting out the side, the neckline and the armhole and also the shoulder slant, I'll be taking off the front pattern from the back pattern. So as to draft my dart on my back pattern because the dart on the back pattern is a little bit different from the dart on the front pattern. I'll start by drawing out my waistline, my chest line and my hip line. Also marking my bust span which is four inches. Connecting the three points together with my ruler. But on the back pattern, I'll mark one inch above my bust line. I'll mark one inch above my bust line and mark two inches above my hip line. On the waistline, I'll still use half of an inch on both sides and connect it to the one inch I marked above my bust line. I'll also do the same for the other side and that will be all for the back pattern. So guys, the next part of this drafting tutorial is the sleeve. And as you can see, I drafted my 
basic sleeve pattern so this sleeve is 17 inches and i will slash and spread this basic sleeve pattern by marking one inch and then making a slant line to the sleeve top you will use your ruler to make to make a line to the sleeve top So guys, as you can see, I've divided my basic sleeve pattern into five parts and I will slash and spread. When cutting, try not to cut out everything. Try not to cut out everything so that you so that you'll be able to to spread this pattern. Now this is my fabric and I folded it into four so as to get the right sleeve and the left sleeve. So guys, I'm marking two inches after the folded part, and I'll be placing the first piece of my sleeve at the point I marked I'm just using my pin to put it in place just so that it does not move and after the first piece I'm also marking two inches after the first piece I'm placing the second piece on that on that line Now for the third piece, I won't be cutting out the third piece. I'm just going to place it after piece two. Just just like this. I'm just going to place it after the piece two. But on the down part, I will mark two inches after the second piece. And then place the third piece on that point and then after the third piece i'm going to mark another two inches and place the fourth piece on that point i will also do the same for the fifth piece make sure you use your paint to put everything in place so that it doesn't move and after that i'm just going to Add half an inch to what I have there for my sewing allowance so I'm not tracing directly on where I have my pattern paper as you can see I'm adding half an inch for my sewing allowance and for the down part I'm adding one inch for the elastic casing and also adding one inch to the side of my drafted pattern so guys this is the end of the drafting part of this tutorial thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video where i explain the sewing part of this tutorial please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye